create a program where we showcase the finest, the skilled and most talented Nigerian artists. Okay, over time on this show, we've always bring to you your favorite stars. What we do on the program is quite simple. We bridge the gap between you and your favorite stars. We serve as the bridge. Now, today on the program, we are not really doing something different, but we are also on this program encouraging upcoming artists, giving them a voice, giving them a chance to be the best of whomever they chose to be. Today on the show, I have a young man who goes by the name Didi Sparks. Yeah. Uh, the first time I heard the name, one thing that struck me was spice. Okay, I said spice. What well, the thing that's about spicy about life? What is it about spicy about music? And I was like, okay, fine, let's listen to the beats. I listened, it was a good bit. I was like, okay, fine. Why don't we give it a shot and see what he could offer? Now, we are bringing him like a role model to upcoming artists now who want to be somewhere where he is. We're going to talk about who he is, what he has achieved so far, and how he came to be who he is. By the way, my name is Ekene Odigwe. I'm your regular host on this show. Now, let's meet you, Spice. How are you? Very good, brother. Okay, what's about the name Didi Spice? Um, the name Didi Spice, it came like a revelation. Um, firstly, my name is David. So, you find there's two, there are two Ds. In the beginning that's of the name, D, yeah, D, D, D Spice. Spice. The first D is Dawn, a D A W N. That's okay. a new thing, a new day. So it's like Dawn Davy Spice. It's like new Davy Spice. That's the meaning of Davy Spice. Okay, what about, let's talk about the old David Spice. Uh, what about him now? <laughs> Those guys busy doing something else. So what, what do you think changed from the old David Spice and in this new David Spice? Okay, actually there was no Spice, it was just Didi. Okay. And Firstly, yeah, it was yeah, Didi. It was Didi like about 2003, 2000, 2003 to 4 I rebranded, so I had to add spice in it. Okay, so I'm trying to find out the old you and the new you. Yeah. What changed? There's a whole lot of difference. For instance, right? yeah, like the way I place my song, the way I I address my lyrics. Okay. And um, you know, I used to be a rapper as well, so but now I'm switching into singing full time, so it's. It's a whole lot of change. That's why you find it, there's a spice there, you know. That's the spice. Yeah, that's the spice. Now, let's talk there. about your yeah. growing up. Take us way back into time. What was it like growing up in the family? By the way, what's your f birth name? I don't like to use the word real name because when you say real um, name, it's not like your <laughs> names are fake. So I lose like birth name. What name did your parents give to you? David Ejiri German. I hail from Delta State. What part of Delta? Ethiopia East. Um, okay. I am an in typical Robo man. So do you, you know what I Robo mean? Wado. Yeah. <laughs> so do you speak Robo? Yeah. Why? I speak why? Roland. Let's hear you. Um fellow Nigerians, Nazu and your boy Dear Oshari, Mavo. <laughs> this is your guy, Didi Spice. Huh? Nothing there happen. Imavo me uh huh? We are coming, that's it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I had to add some spice in it as well. Okay, I, 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 I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> That's good, All man. Right, if you're just joining us, this is Red Carpet Show on the Africa's largest radio network, yeah. Radio Nigeria. And today on the program, we are joined by a young man, DJ Spice. He added spice, and I believe the spice has a lot to do with what he could bring to the fore. Now, DJ Spice, yeah. take us way back into time. <sighs> it has been like a decade in this game, you know, coming up. I've been there like a whole years, you know, trying to figure out how I'll be able to showcase my talent. I started music like 1996 and uh, I started doing copyrights in the streets, you know, DMX, the Cisco thing and all that. Then Jaro came, I started Jaro, you know, just like that. So, and I find out that. Apart from playing other instruments, I used to play instrument as well, you know. So I now find out that I have the, the I have what it takes, you know, to sing as well. So it was then I started writing my own songs. We formed a group named Genius in 2001. Uh, we came out with an album of about six tracks then, but um, trying to sail into the Nigerian music industry. It was kind of tough for us then because we were just doing strictly hip-hop rap and 
it ain't selling at that particular time. Then we have um, people like Daddy Shoki on top of the board, you know, top of the shirt. So we just, it has been a long journey, you know, but I thank God that I finally found myself here. And today. you are happy being I'm here. I'm very, very happy. Welcome on board, bro. Thank so you, bro. we just hope you're going to stay on top. My mother would always uh, say it's never getting <laughs> a basement. Tell me what we need got. you guys to take us there. Now, take us about the challenges of life, Yeah. especially in the music industry. Yeah, there's a lot of challenges being a new artist in this game there right now. Lots of challenges. Lots of challenges. Uh, you know, first of all, you find that there's a whole lot of big stars out there, you know, standing, standing out in the galaxy, you know, so it's kind of difficult you know, to come out as well. But I think it's all good because challenges do motivate me to do more, you know, and, um, and I think that has been my, my, my mentor, challenges. Yeah, I use it like a mentor. It mentors me, it takes me to a new me, you know. I like when someone tells me that I'm not gonna get there, that I can't be that thing I'm aspiring for. So it has not been easy anyway, there was a time I, I, I broke out of my group, like I told you, and the whole thing was just like, is it because you're the one that sings or that brings most of the songs to the group? You know, there's a lot of challenges to that. You know, and I recently discovered another challenge is like, as I was coming, the former place area I used to stay before, you know, people see me and they're like, you know, did this spice, oh, don't worry, I know him. You know, it's quite tough, you know, it's quite tough. And, but I thank God, I think they're all going to have to accept what we have to offer for now because the time is now. The time is now. Yeah. now. Let's talk about now. Now it's you now. have this. Okay. Uh, now let's talk about Times D D spars. Peacock, excuse me. What's the last one? That's Bogomana. It's an Robo language. What it, does it mean? It means dance. Dance and shake your body, yeah. So you are giving us a dance hall in uh language. that's like a rephrase of Komole thing, you know. I uh, really respect my language so much and it has a lot of spice in it as well. And I'm doing my best you know, to bring it to the limelight. Okay. That, that's, that song is good though. It's good though. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna find a way to make this song make it better. Like, Thank you. Let us have a feel of really what the song is. Like. The whole feel. So good. Okay, now, how many songs have you written so far? Uh, right now I have like 500 songs in my diary. 500? Yeah. How I many have you recorded I've, so I've far? recorded like uh, 12 out of them. Uh, and I just selected that's three. That's that's the three you see on the promo CD. So I'm still working on some other stuffs like that, hip hop, R and B, raga, anything that goes so with music. What pushes you? You you've been in the industry, so yeah. it's more like you've been here. Yeah. And now you've rebranded yourself. Yeah. To that's this the one. Rebranding. Uh -huh. And then you always there you this go. Exciting thing to the table. Wow. Let's talk about it. The spicy thing is the uniqueness of me being an artist. I know what I'm doing, and I think that's what motivates me. You know what, what I'm doing, doing, and I know what I'm going, where I'm going to, as okay. well. I think that's one thing that motivates me. Okay, I think it's really time everybody got to go back to their fatherland, go back to their native language to yeah. see that thing you think. I remember those days when we were quite young in Igbo language. There is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a song. I don't know. Much more better. I yeah. Remember, I remember the song I've listened to that they talked about. Uh, whatever that means, I do not know. But for the fact is, something nice one. Your old, like, okay, I like it. It's colorful. Nice one. Nice one. So, how's it going with you now? Now you're good. You yeah. Have an album. What's the next step? Actually, presently I'm on a radio tour. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I've taught like eight radio stations within the country right now, and I'm still still counting. And um, the Peacock video is out. Nice. Yeah, get ready to watch that on Sound City Fresh, MTV Base. Pal, let's not talk about much. Now, so after that, what's next? How? I'm trying to look at the long run. What's um, my album wouldn't drop this year either, so I'm just gonna bring in out singles. I think they should expect more singles. So why why would you want to sing about it? That's my issue. Why you have people who you find good? Why do you want to talk about it? Mm, actually, I don't like talking about it about haters because, like I said, I I, I group them to be one of my challenge and they motivate me. Mm -hmm. a lot so I think it's cool having them around 
really. Yeah. The position party. Yeah. The purchase. Yeah. That's, good. <laughs> That's like very it. good. I yeah. Like it. <laughs> All That's right, now, this is Red Carpet Show on the Africa's largest radio network. My yeah. name is Ekene Odigwe, and today I'm hanging out with DD Spies. Yeah, man. All right, this is the way it is on today's edition of the program. Now, before we let go of you, okay. an endorsement. It's your boy DD Spies, aka Spice, aka Spice in Things, aka Hanging Out with Kenne, aka the Red Carpet Boys, aka everything. I represent the Aja Boys, Okira Boys, Ninja Delta, and all the rugged boys of Nigeria. Wow. <laughs> okay, now, you've come of fame. You have it all. Are you serious? Are we expecting some bell ringing anytime soon, or are you focusing on career first? Mm career I think for the next five years I'm locked down with my career yeah do you have your parents support um yeah okay why did you take some time to say the year? yeah because um the one that was actually supporting me or let me say the one that actually supported me that actually wanted me to be an artist is my mom and she died when I was very young okay. and uh, my siblings do tell me that yeah no problem it's cool my siblings do tell me that uh, it's like she gave me the tone and the voice and everything. So, are you doing this for yourself or are you doing it for your mother? Um, I'm doing this for myself and my family and my mom. Yes, so rest in peace. I'm just doing this for whole, for the Nigerian people, actually. You know, I'm doing this for, for passion. It's what I like to do. Who's a role model, by the way? Oh, I just said sound African, but I'm going to mention some role models that are not from Africa. Okay. Actually, if you could listen to me while I sing, you notice there's some, there's some spice of R&B and, you know, that pop feeling. I, mean, I think I have some mentors from Nigeria, like oh. Two-Face. Let's go international now. Uh, that's just something I would really like to talk about. Joe Thomas. Okay. R. Kelly. Mm, nice. Okay, if you, you know. do love them, why do you want to do after pop? Why don't you do something like Because that's who I am. I wouldn't like to do something that I'm not. You know, that has been what kept me there on the locker for so many years. You know, doing things that you know wouldn't be appreciated by the Nigerian community. So, I think I, it's, it's good sounding African, you know. It's, good it's very good, yeah. African. I'm so, so proud to be an African. I am proud too. I'm proud as well. <laughs> That's good. It's good, bro. It's so good, bro. It's good you sound African. It's Very good. good. You sound you and take note. Apart from every other thing, remember who you, you are. are. That's the way it is on today's edition of Red Carpet Show. Carpet. Thank you, Didi, for Thank coming Thank you around. very much. Thank nice you. Nice having you in the house. Yes, boss. Okay. Yes, Thank boss. you. Okay. Of uh, course, uh, I would let go of you without saying Berlin. How's Berlin like? She's very fine. Um, I was lucky to meet her as a manager because she's a very smart person. So I think together we'll get there. Together? Yeah. Okay, this is from you to Berlin. Together you guys will get there. I yeah. Don't, don't worry, he's, she's not, he's not talking about the girlfriend, he's talking about the manager. The manager. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. <laughs> this is very competitive. See you again next week. I love wow. you. Wow.